Hey guys, hello, good evening. My name is Siddha Sukhadia, at semester student from Sigma Institute of Pharmacy at Bakhlaol, Varadra. My subject name is Pharmaceutical Technology 2 and teacher who guides me for this lecture is Dr. Jigar Vyas and my today's topic is soft gelatin capsules. So, friends, we all know the soft gelatin capsules are a great and biggest market in whole India or in whole country or in international market also. So many uh, nutraceuticals, so many multivitamins, so many uh, minerals and so many vitamin capsules are available in the soft gelatin capsules. So what are the soft gelatin capsules? Soft gelatin capsules are one part hermetically placed or we can say hermetically attached. The soft gelatin cells containing a liquid or a suspension or a semi-solid paste. We all know there are different types of shape and size of the soft gelatin capsules are available in the market. Now we see the different shapes and size of soft gelatin capsules. Here we can see different types and different shape and size of the soft gelatin capsules. Hey guys, now we discuss about the formulation of the soft gelatin capsules. So what are the included in the formulations of the soft gelatin capsule? First one is water, the demineralized water which will be used for the manufacturing of the gelatins. Second one is the plasticizers. So we add the plasticizer for the elasticity and the pliability of the capsule shell. The elasticity and pliability of the capsule shell we added the plasticizers. The plasticizers which we are used in the manufacture of the soft gelatin capsules are the glycerin and sorbitols. Third one is coloring agents. Coloring agents which we are used are naturally or synthetic used for the soft gelatin capsules. Opacify agents. Opacifier agents we are used for in the manufacture of the soft gelatin capsules to opacify the capsule cell. It gives the opific effect on the cell of the capsule. We are used the titanium dioxide in the concentration of the 0.5% in the formulation of the soft gelatin capsules. Then gelatin agents. We all know the iron is present in the raw material of the gelatins and the iron exceeded form 15 ppm is not possible, so we added the gelatin agents. And gelatin are the main ingredient. Here is a whole preparation process of the soft gelatin capsules. In that, we can see a gelatin preparation, after that material filling, then encapsulation, then drying, inspection, polishing, and then last one is packaging. Now we discuss about the gelatin mass manufacture. The gel or we can say gelatin is prepared in the stainless steel big vessel of 300 liters. In that the gelatin powder is mixed with the water and glycerin which they can heat and stir it properly and vigorously. The molten gelatin mass is formed and it is decanted into a 200 kg mobile vesicle or vessel in that there is a turbine mixing which are mix it properly and in this process the colors and flavoring agents are added in the gelatin masses. Now the second step is material filling. We prepare the gelatin mass and that are converted into a sheet. Now the material which we have to fill are ready and the machine which we used for the filling of this material are rotary dry press machine. In this there is a two dies having a numerous die pores in which there is a capsule sheet came between these die rollers and the material are filled and the capsules are cut and down into on the conveyors. Here we can see there is a two die rollers and the cap, uh, gelatin seal 
or we can say ribbon are injected in between these die rollers and the material product from the tank are poured between this sheet and the capsules are generated and fall on the conveyor belt. This process is called the encapsulation in which the material are packed or closed in the capsule cells and they are locked or we can say closed. This is called the encapsulation. During the encapsulation, the temperature is 57 to 59 degree Fahrenheit, it means 13 to 15 degrees Celsius and 20% related humidity is available in the manufacturing room for the encapsulation of the soft gelatin capsules. Now after the encapsulation, the third stage is drying. After the manufacture of the soft gelatin capsules, they must contain 20% of water in it. So drying is a second, third stage which we can conduct it after the encapsulation. In that one, there are the two stages. In that first stage, is, we put it for 30 to 40 minutes uh, in the tumbles. We have the soft chicken capsules around 30 to 40 minutes stay and in the 25% of the water contained are removed from the soft gelatin capsules. Second stage where the soft gelatin capsules are spread on the stackable trays and put it for the 24 to 48 hours for drying the process. It is a naturally drying process for the soft gelatin capsules. Now, second one is inspections. After the manufacture of the soldering capsules, there are inspection. There are two types of inspections: in-process testing or finished product testing. In the in-process testing, there are the gelatin ribbon thickness. We have to measure the thickness of the gelatin ribbon. Then second one is soft gelatin cell thickness at the time of the encapsulation. Third one is film matrix weight and capsule shell weight. Both weights, capsule shell weight and the filling weights, we have to measure during the in-process technique testing. Now, fourth one is soft gel cell moisture level and soft gel hardness at the end of the drying stage. In the ending of the drying stage, we have to measure the moisture level in the capsule and the hardness of the cell of the soft gelatin capsules. In the second one, which when we can include it, the finished product testing. In that capsule appearance, the appearance of the capsule is looking good. So we have to uh, check the appearance of the capsule. And second one is active ingredients assay. The assay of the active ingredient related substance assay. And third one is filling weight. Fourth one is content uniformity, where the content of the ingredients and all the ingredients in the solid capsules are the uniform or not. The last one is microbial testing where there is a any microbial growth in the solid capsules we have to test it wisely. And after that we have the stages as called polishing. After the testing and all manufacturing of the solid capsule we have to polish it very nicely so it can uh, the surface of the capsule is shining like crystals. Mm. Now the last stage is packaging. There is a no difference between the packaging of the soft gelatin and the traditional tablets or hard capsules. The packagings are the same as the tablet and capsules but the conditions of the storage of these soft gelatin capsules is like 20 to 24 degrees Celsius temperature and 35 percent relative humidity are maintained in the storage or as an environment for the storage of the soft gelatin capsules. Now we discuss about the what are the advantages of the soft gelatin capsules. So it improves the bioavailability. We can we know all know that there is a liquid suspension or semi solid paste which are fed in the capsule cells. So it improves the bioavailability. Second one is which enhance the drug stability. 
third one is superior patient complexes anybody can take it very nicely because it is looking in a good appearance then product differentiation we also can differentiate the product by its color size and shapes and the last one is easy to swallow uniformity and the precision dosage forms now we discuss about the what are the limitations of the soft heading capsules in that first one is equipment there is a very high costly and very heavy equipments which we have to use for the manufacturing of the soft heading capsules and second one is higher manufacturing cost as compared to the tablet okay then stability concerns when there we know there is a only liquid same suspensions and the semi solid paste we we have to fill in the compounds which have high hydrolyzing capacity we are not included in the solidering capsules so these are the limitations and now we see some are the examples so we can say marketed products of the soft gelatin capsules we can see here the ekl 400 are the product of the glpl vitamin e wheat germ oil and omega 3 fatty acid soft gelatin capsules here is another example flex seed oil capsules flex of feet are the product of the glpl a soft gelatin capsule products another example is ortho strong is another example and the product of the soft gelatin capsule of the glpl and i know very well you like my video and thanks for watching my video thank you thank you very much to all of you